Hi, Daddy. I love you. I miss you. And I love you very much. What? Do you want to go show Daddy the office? Yes. Go show him your new school? Mm -hmm. Alright, go. Do you want to see my new school? No, go this way. Go this way. You got anything else to tell Daddy? I love you very, 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 very much. And I miss you. What grade are you in? Kindergarten. Go over there. Let's show them the flowers and the blooms. Go show them the flowers and the blooms? Yeah. Right. It's really pretty inside that building. It's really pretty in there? Mommy, I think you need to look behind you. <laughs> What's behind me? <laughs> Who is that? Did you, Daddy, come home? <laughs> Give Daddy big kisses. Let Mommy see. Your daddy big kisses. Did you know daddy was here? No. No? Are you happy? <laughs> well, I didn't cry when I picked you up, but now I'm crying. Alright, say bye. I think you need to look behind you. I know. Everyone's attention right behind us in the video board, and Robert has something to say for all of us. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, it's me, Simon from Romania. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for the opportunity to do this. Um, one to the team, plus your events, and um, to Alex. Hope you get to see this. Sometimes you travel on the new event. Ray, thank you for everything. Um, hope you get the tissues. Um, and uh, Barton, Alex, Haley, uh, the whole family. I love you guys. Miss you. Uh, and I will be home shortly. If everything goes right, uh, very shortly. Um, can't put in the word. I'm going to miss you again. I love you, and I will see you all over. Thank you. All right, and now we would like to welcome Alex. After Justin Farland, who is Robert Sennett, he will throw out his first pitch. So Alex, go ahead and throw your first pitch. Great job. Go ahead, we'll get some for our pressure here. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in the room. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, it's me, Harrell. I'm walking to my gate right now. I'm in the airport. Going home to Los Angeles. Haven't been home in about a year and four months. I'm a little nervous because I've been planning this for months and I wanted it to be a surprise. But of course, a couple days before I'm supposed to leave, um, they print an article in the newspaper about lone soldiers going home. And I just happened to be in that article. Just right here. That's my picture. Everyone's staring at me right now because I'm doing this in the middle of the airport. And so yeah, going home to Los Angeles. Oh, so anyways, I'm a little worried because my mom posted it up on Facebook, of course, uh, the newspaper article. So hopefully, I'm hoping no one knows I'm coming home right now. I've kept it a secret for very long. Um, I'm sure everyone will still be surprised. And yeah, I'm excited, so let's do this. Go into my gate. Just landed in LA! Woo! DJ picked me up from the airport. It's my first time here in a year and three months. And uh, it's gonna be amazing. Hi, Mom, can I buy your car keys, please? <laughs> oh, my God! If you want to tell a video right now. <laughs> but seriously, can I buy your car keys? <laughs> Got her good. <laughs> Dad, can you help us with the groceries, please? Can you help us with the groceries? Can you help us with the groceries? Oh, oh man! <laughs> oh man! Oh man! This is great! Great! Help us with the groceries, please. Who is this talking to me right now? Mind if I sit? Scene after a local soldier returns home for the first time in months and surprises his three children. And it worked perfectly. None of them suspected a thing. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez was in on that homecoming surprise. 
From the back room of Chill Yogurt Cafe in Mobile, Tech Sergeant Jeffrey Cole watches his three children waiting to surprise them. It's an unexpected homecoming after the F-15 fighter mechanic returned home to Mobile for the first time in more than four months. His kids, ages 7, 9, and 12, were excited to see their father again. Sergeant Cole says it's been a long time coming. It's crazy. Uh, I've missed him tremendously. You know, four months being gone, it's, it's a long time to be away from the kids. The Mobile father spent the last four months in Afghanistan as part of Operation Enduring Freedom. With tears in their eyes, daddy's little girls say the home visit caught them completely off guard. I'm really happy. Why is that? Yes, he's finally home. Just happy to have him home. As for the youngest of the three, Logan Cole says he's got big plans this week. Play Xbox with him. Um, go on a roller coaster. Get him. Get me a new Adidas. <laughs> Tech Sergeant Cole's wife says this happy homecoming was actually supposed to happen more than a week ago, but Cole says his travel plans were delayed eight times prior. And every time we got a flight, it was canceled or postponed, and so it's been nine days getting home, and uh, so it's been pretty rough. Now in the arms of his children, he says things couldn't be better. For now, reporting in Mobile, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. Hmm. That's a tearjerker. Welcome back. Now, Tech Sergeant Cole says he has a month off before returning to active duty. He says, however, there are no schedules. And his, and his, and his, and his, no, there weren't very. Was it like when a dad's weird and he needs help? Well, I thought it was. I actually recommended it. Um, I'm lost. I'm trying to find out. What in the hell? <laughs> <laughs> It says Aaron and Aubrey Shipman. And Mommy Shipman. Open the box. What are you girls doing? What did you think was in that box? Daddy! 
Were you guys playing outside? Yes. Where's my Becky? What's wrong with him, Terry? You left Grandpa! He sent you a big present. Come here. Look. Yeah, you better open it up. Here, I'll hold your... You open it up. Is it just a book? Nope, it's a big, big present. Oh, here, this is one of the scissors. Did I put them over there? Hold on. Good boy. What do you think it is? No. Should we open it up and see? Yeah. It's a desk. It's not. Okay, hold on. Okay, pull the flaps open. Pull these open. Pull them hard. Daddy! <laughs> Hi! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Okay, let's talk like that. So, my dad's sitting right over there with my uncle, uh, my cousins, and my aunt's inside. So, we're waiting for her to come back. We're following behind. It's a good time. It's a good surprise. So, hopefully, you won't see. He's coming over this way. Hopefully, you won't notice. We're coming over here. You're going to turn the other way. Just look at the pretty view. Um, just two roses. Look, somebody's flying a kite over there. Where is your aunt? Gonna take a quick pause. Okay, so we're not waiting for her aunt because her aunt's taking too long. So I hope we can make this work. Um, I think this is working out. Okay, and they are right over there, that family right there that we're walking up on. Uh, just wanted to see what we're doing. Sure. You guys are. How come you guys are up here? <laughs> because. Would you like to see who's in that come. picture? What are you doing here? Hi. Hi. Kind of like the last place in the world I know. I know. Did we surprise you? Surprise. <laughs> That's awesome. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It's a long way from where you so, were. So, so um, I was debating to I was debating to take some leave, and uh, I talked to a lot of my leadership about coming home for a bit. And uh, with our schedule um, being four in and four out, like they have to accommodate for people going on leave from time to time. So, especially with like you know, grandma. And ticket, spent like 28 hours flying from Bucharest <laughs> to Munich to DC, and I got in really late last night, and uh, they picked me up from Denver, um, I stayed the night next door, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, yeah. I have eyes and ears everywhere, so I caught wind of the fact that you guys were coming up here, and so <laughs> I figured, you know what, I'm just going to take some leave, 
Like this is probably the one of the best memories I could possibly make. Um, better than you know being on the other side of the world. The Navy's always going to be there. The patrol's always going to be there. But <laughs> family's pretty important. So